Hi everyone, Evelyn here. I decided to pop in because a couple things came up that were very significant today. And I had just posted the page of wands with the four of cups on my Instagram and my TikTok. And there was a very significant message in there reiterating about the four special New Year's this year that I keep bringing up. They were April 9th, July 18th, today, October 26th, and then a fourth one into the next year, because it's still within that leap year, which would be February 3rd, 2025. So read that message, because there's a lot of heavy coding in there that even if you don't understand it all, that's fine, but you'll get the downloaded coding and the activation there. So I'm bringing this up because um, I just asked, I've been connecting a lot with Sophia, Ia, and Gaia, and I just asked the three of them, what is the purpose of this New Year's Day today, which happens to be the three New Year's happen to be the 100th day, the 200th day, and 300th day of the year. And um, what was the significance of today's New Year, this special New Year? And, um, and was it related to the portal that Magenta Pixie had talked about on the 19th, right after the full moon on the 17th? And so these were the answers, just a real quick, uh, message here. So I pulled from the journey of love and the underlying energy was the intimacy card, okay, which is number 35. And so this was the first part of the question was asking about today as the new year, what does it mean? What is its importance? And the card that came out was 41 knowing without knowing, but for me, this is definitely Mary Magdalene energy. And you see the big M and her carrying her own weight. Okay, and the 41 is the Ace of Cups, which is the Holy Grail. And I'll give you my message because I already wrote down the messages I was getting. And then the second card that came out with that was the 21, that she is the moon. Okay, and I'll get into my notes about that too. And then from from the underlying energies, the rest of the deck, I hand pulled a card for the second uh, question, which had to do with the 19th portal and does that have something to do with this and what is that? And the card that I pulled out from the middle of the deck there, it came out like this. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. So I pulled it out from the deck here in the underlying energies and it was the yin yang energy, which is the eight, which is Leo energy. And the 19th was Leo as well, the 19. And look what's underneath that is the lover's card, 57. And what was on top of that is this card here, the 37, which is fire and ice. But you see the energy of here, the feminine keeping the vortex clean where she's in the light, keeping all, you know, healing the wounds here. Well, he sees the light that she's actually in, right, of the lovers here in this blank slate, since it's all white, okay? And let me read to you what I just received as a message from that. So, again, I asked Sophia, Gaia, and Ia the significance of today's October 26, 2024 New Year and the relationship to the 1019 portal that Magenta Pixie spoke about. Okay. And I wanted to, again, bring up the fact that the card that came up for the second question, number eight, Yin Yang Lovers, eight is Leo, it's the strength card, and the date 19 is also Leo, it's the sun. So the underlying energy was intimacy. The first card out was the 41, knowing without knowing. And then 21, she is the moon. She, like I said, is the light in the vortex, keeping it clear as he sees the light as the king of cups, 37, of unconditional love. And the card that I pulled was way into the deck. So it's saying from the 19th to today, which is seven days, which I went into a lot in that message today about the New Year's because it all came from the fact uh, of the downloads that I got last year 
before Christmas, it was around this time, this, these New Year's are based on what I was getting as God's birthday, 12, seven to 12, 13, which is seven days, of course, that the world was created. And then another seven days to ground and integrate, which then makes a fortnight. Then another four days as the four nights. And then the seven next seven days as the chariot that takes you home into the 31st, which then the next day is the new year. And so today is that new year in that same pattern okay coming in so we'd be like one one today so it's a seven seven four and seven pattern there and so from the middle of that deck to the underlying energy on top there was a whole lot of cards there so there was a whole lot of stuff that shifted in this past seven days because of the portal on the 19th which is a significant date and um when I wrote that down at the top of the page here, since these seven days, the time was 7.01, and I'd written like seven days, or these seven days today being like 1.01, January 1st. So I wrote seven days and 1.01 as I wrote the time down, 7.01. And then that this is the new year of Mary Magdalene, the Holy Grail, God's Rail, God's Handle, like a CB handle, and the M, right? The mark of Mary Magdalene and the ace of cups of self-love able to carry her own weight as she is the 21, the world and whole, the two and the one of the masculine and feminine and the Piscean energy, which is the one who has one foot in this world and then one in the next. The moon of M-O and O-N of Mary Magdalene, human embodiment of source and the human embodiment of source of the Christed, her M-O, his on, Mary and Christ making googly eyes at each other, the romance of Roman C. The Roman C as he battles her waves, 41 and 21 equals 62 of the Lyran system, which was on page 180, which again is the moon, the Lyran man culture, K62. And then bringing up all the numbers again that I had gotten that I, I just told to you. So the underlying energy when I went deeper was the distant shores to the 44 of rings of time, 31 the Christ of flame, the 65 of the breaking, which is the king of pentacles, the 54 of the earth angel, which is the page of swords, and then the 35 of intimacy, which is the nine of wands or the wounded warrior. The four moons, like I said, back from July, August, September into October 17th in the water under the bridge as the divine feminine feels her rings of time where 18 and 44 again equals 62, the K62 Lyran system, and he the chaos of the Christed flame, so that the King of Pentacles could fall into her arch, enveloping their energies in a quote unquote swap meet. And there's a lot of energy that was coming up last night, so you may have felt your twin, if you are a twin flame. Um, And so the numbers I looked up in Gematria were the numbers from the first cards, 199, and then the cards from the underlying energies, which add up to 212. And so the 199 was the first entry, birth, kiss, and then ether, number nine. And then the 212 of the masculine energy was the one of the atlas, three and four of the ocean gate, eight of the fig tree, nine gifts, 10 QR code, 13 pine cone, 14 I need a miracle, 21 high noon and then 22 being Heracles, which is like Hercules. And it's literally referencing from the first entry to the 22nd entry, which includes all of the major arcana of the Tarot, right? Going into the new fool's journey and leaving the wounded warrior behind. So there's very much this energy of a new year for the Mary Magdalene energy for the collective and the Lyran system. So I'd love to hear uh, what you've experienced regarding that. And also I'd received a download from Divine Mother for those of you who hadn't heard that already. I went to Vitality back on September 5th and I ended up channeling Divine Mother in front of the whole room <laughs> in uh, my process there. And I'd never channeled any kind of light language before. So that was completely new to me. 
but boy, was it powerful. And every time I wanted to laugh from the joy of the feeling I was feeling, more words would just come out of my mouth. It was just unbelievable. But the reason I'm bringing that up is because that rant that she went on about um, ended with this beautiful, loving energy for her children and saying, the uh, mana joya. And I was just getting the energy of her just and her children, the love for her children and the miraculous treasures that you are. And so last night I was feeling into that energy again to see if any of the language would come up and it was coming up and it ended in um, aso alanama. And I wanted you guys to say that and see what comes up for you. Because for me, it was very powerful energy. It was a, so, and then a la, nama. A, so, a la, nama. And I was just saying it over and over again and the, the energy was coming in very, very strong. So yeah, please try it out if you want to and report back to me. Uh, let me know if you experienced anything. And otherwise, um, that's it for now. Just wanted to bring in that update. Have a great night, you guys. Rise and be love. Bye.